Hi guys, it's John here, and this is a video showing how to set up a win later on your Android phone to play PC games. Right, so I will uninstall Win later completely and I'll go through the whole process of getting it installed from scratch. Okay, so I was actually going to show you a special edition of Win later which works with Android 14 and the Snapdragon 813, but actually 17 hours ago, version 8 of Win later was actually released and it does now support Android 14. So let's get the latest and greatest version installed. What you do is just search for Win later and GitHub. And you can see here we are going to select the Bruno Dev 85 one. And you can see here Win Later 8, 17 hours ago, now has the fix for Android 14, which is the Snapdragon Engine 3, where it would just crash when you tried to load it up. So let's download the APK under Assets. Okay, once it is downloaded, we're just going to install it. And install anyway. Okay, it's installed. So we're going to click on Open. I'm going to click Allow to allow it access to the system files. Okay, and now WinLater is installed. I'm just going to get this filling of the screen up. So on Honor phones, we have to click Show Cutout here just to make sure it actually fills the whole screen. And there we are. Okay, so what are we going to do? What we're going to do is add something called a container. We can call it whatever we want. I'm just going to call this Windows. Again, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and now we're going to set our screen size. So this is almost a 4x3 screen. So I'm going to select 1024 by 768. The higher resolution you select, the harder it will be for the phone to cope. So don't go too mad. We're obviously going to be playing sort of older style Windows games with this emulator. We can leave this as Turnip because this is an Adreno GPU. Then under the GPU name here, what we're going to do is actually set our video size to be 4 gigabytes, just to give it some extra power for playing games. Okay, that should be all you need to do. Just click on the tick here and then press on the play button and it will now start up your system. Right, so here we are. So you can mess around with things and increase or decrease the resolution to your needs, but I found this works pretty well on this dimension of screen at least. And what you see here is a basically a Windows Explorer which is showing you what is on your phone at the moment. And you can see here we've got a C, a D, an E, and a Z. All you need to worry about is the C and the D. D is basically a link to your downloads folder in Android. So these are things that I've downloaded in the background. We can see here, we sort by date, we can see here WinLater 8, that's what I downloaded a few minutes ago. And these are other things that I've copied across ready for the install. But let's go over to the Windows computer now and we'll see how we can get these copied across. So I'm just going to plug in the USB cable into my phone here and we're going to get this running in transfer files mode. And then we're going to pop over to the computer now and we'll see what we can see. Okay, so here we are. We are now on the computer and we can see here we have got my internal storage from my Honor Magic V3 here. And what we can do is browse to our downloads folder. And this is the D drive on my phone. So what are we going to do to be able to get games across onto here? So this is, as I said earlier, just for good old games. You can try other games, obviously, if you wish, but this is just a lot easier using good old games. So what you need to do is find one of the games that you own and you want to try playing. And then you just click on it from here, click on extras. And then we're going to find the offline backup installer here and we're going to click on the download button. Okay, you can now see it is downloading ukulele here, and once that's finished, it will basically give you an executable file, which you can copy across and then run in WinLater. You can see here I've downloaded a few already, so let's just have a look at what we do next. Once the file has downloaded, you are going to click on the little folder icon here just to open the downloads folder, and here you can see this is where the setup file is that is required to install the game. So all we need to do is copy that onto our phone. So here we are, we've got my Honor Magic V3 here and I'm just going to copy this file across to my phone. I'm going to do a copy and replace. I have already copied this across but it's just to show you it copying across. And then basically download all the games you want and copy them across to your phone and then we can head back to the phone and get them installed. Okay so we've got the phone plugged back into the USB-C for HDMI out but just so you can see better what's going on here. And we're going to start installing some games. I've already installed a couple of games, as you can see. So it is just a case of just going to the D drive here. And don't forget, this is your downloads folder on your Android phone. So you literally just come and find the setup for one of the games you want to play. And you double click on it as you would in Windows and just run through the installation. Now it will take extra time to install. It is a bit slower than doing it on your computer, but it isn't actually too bad. The uh, 
storage on this on a phone is actually pretty quick anyway but yeah it will take a bit of time to install sometimes you'll see this moving very very slowly sometimes it'll stay there for ages but normally it carries on i have found a few games that don't work and that normally requires some sort of dotnet framework that just isn't going to install on this at the moment at least so yeah just keep an eye on the message up here and if it says installing dotnet framework or something along those lines and it sits there for more than five minutes it's probably not going to work okay so we've got all our games installed now so let's kick off and see how we get on again i'm going to be using my keyboard and mouse here we've got the display on the large sort of screen just so you can see a bit easier but yeah you'll see how well these games run as we go through them greetings lord john is filling in the moat, my lord. Right, so here we are in Ukulele and the Impossible Lair, and you can see here this runs really nicely on the Snapdragon Age of the 3. Let's just pop into one of the levels and see how we get on. out.
just a quick video getting Winlater 8 running on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. It is now working finally, so go and get it and try some of your own games and see what you can get running on your own phone. Hope this video was useful. If it was, please do like and subscribe. Leave any questions you have down below. I'll do my best to answer them where I can. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.